Hello, fine people. So today I'm going to show you how to make a Valentine's Day card in Google Docs. So I've started out with a blank document, and this card is one of those quarter size ones that you basically make by folding a piece of standard printer paper in uh, two times, and that gives you four panels, one for the front and back, one for the inside left and inside right. The way that we're going to accomplish this with Google Docs is with the drawing canvas. And the drawing canvas cannot accommodate the top and bottom of the card at the same time, so we're going to design the top, which will be the front and back panels, and then we'll design the bottom, which will be the inside left and inside right. So, the first thing we need to do is get our actual document that we can see right now into a set of smaller margins. So right now it's at an inch and we're going to go 0.25 on all sides or a quarter inch on all sides. This will give us plenty of room and if we print these it will allow us uh, room so the printer doesn't clip or cut off part of our lovely creation. So now what I'm going to do is go into the drawing canvas. So to do that, you go to insert and drawing and new. Insert, drawing, new. Now I'm going to set up some guides. So I know that this thing is going to be at most uh, five and a quarter inches tall. The reason being is a standard sheet of paper is 11 inches tall. So we subtract a half inch from that. 10 and a half inches and then we divide that by 2 and that's going to give us uh, 5.25 and we just drag the little guide down to 5.25 now um, this will give us the center point of the drawing canvas and this really doesn't help us any so what I'm going to do is delete these guides so I'll right click on the horizontal one and delete guide right click on the vertical one and delete guide Okay. Now, as far as uh, splitting this thing in two, we know a standard sheet of paper is 8.5 inches wide. So we subtract out the margins that we set. So a quarter inch on the left, a quarter inch on the right. That gives us 8 inches. And we divide that by two, and it's four. And then I'm going to throw a guide at eight, just so we know where our cutoff is. This will be the front of the card, and this will be the back of the card, but they will be flipped upside down. Okay, so I'm going to put the back over here and put the front over here, and then we'll, we'll flip it upside down so that the front will be upside down right here, and the back will be upside down right here. So let's work on the front first, because that's a really important part of the card. So I'm going to put some text in here going to do a little text box and uh, just drag it out. We might need to resize it or whatever, but it's okay. Uh, I'm going to make sure it does not have a border. So let's get the border color and do transparent. Okay, and my idea is to have some red text and have it say, uh, oh, I'm going to change the font too because that's very boring. I'm going to use Pacifico. You could use whatever font you wanted as long as it meets whatever requirements you have in your head that your card is going to look like. Thinking of you. Okay, like that. And if you're wondering what keyboard shortcut I'm using, it's Control Shift greater than or Control Shift less than to increase or decrease the size using the keyboard. Control shift greater than, control shift less than. Okay, so thinking of you, and I'm just going to kind of sort of center this within our guides. Uh, so the, the center of it needs to be at, uh, it would be six. So that was pretty well right on the money. And then I'm going to make a copy of this. So click on it and do control C. Because browsers are weird, and they'll be angry if you try to right-click and copy. Sometimes they freak out. Okay, and then click off and do Control-V. 
and there's the copy and we'll move it to where it is aligned beautifully with this okay so like that okay and then we'll center this inside the text box okay so and you could put whatever you wanted on your card this is just something that I came up with now let me insert an image and I'm gonna choose an image to upload and I went out and found a couple images we're gonna use for this card but you can do uh, whatever you want with it so I'm gonna put this little cartoon Cupid in here he's gonna be way too big so let's move him in place and you know uh, actually he's not way too big so haha -ha. I was horribly wrong uh, but I'll get him by the corner and scooch him in now as far as what kind of image to do if you're going to be printing the page and it's going to be a white background then you can make sure the image has a white background but I got a PNG which is a portable network graphic that had a transparent background this checkered pattern right here represents transparency and that's brought over from Photoshop and so Google decided to kind of copy that convention um, so that's just a little side note of when you're choosing your images if you can get one with a transparent background which is a PNG then you can put whatever color here you want but I'm gonna leave mine white okay now the back of the card I'm just gonna put a little note from me that says uh, made oh Okay, instead of redoing all this, instead of doing a new text box, I'm just going to copy this one again. So control C, Control V, and then we'll move it over into here. This will be where the back of the card is, and I'll center this up real nice. And the font doesn't need to be as big on this, so Control Shift, less than. If you don't like keyboard shortcuts, you can come up here and do it this way. Okay, or. Um, you know, top it in right there. Made just for you by Jerry. There we go, and I'll highlight this and center it. You could put whatever you wanted on here, but now this is the back of the card. Now to get this so that it's in our main document, where we can actually print it and stuff and it's set up properly I'm gonna click and drag over all my little pieces like that and then we need to group this so go to actions and group so you've got it grouped okay I'm gonna click off and highlight it all again because it acts kinda weird sometimes if you don't click off and re-highlight it after grouping but now I'm gonna do rotate and I'll rotate it either clockwise or counterclockwise but I'll do clockwise two times and that is precisely what this is supposed to look like okay now I think our centering is a little off from what it was so I'll just click and move everything over so that it's fairly well centered in the upside down orientation okay it may not be perfect but it will look just fine whenever it's printed out and then you have to allow some space for the creases and stuff so that'll be just fine so now we've got it this is the front of the Valentine's Day card so now I'm gonna save and close and it shows up right here and that's just that's just lovely and beautiful and it makes us very happy or at least it does me so now you need to come down here and do wrap text wrap text and then for the margin you're gonna click the, the drop down right here and you're gonna say zero and then we're just gonna get a hold of our drawing and move it so it's perfectly centered in our uh, document okay and you always want to leave a little margin around the edges because the printer will chop it off so this is the front and the back of the card the inside left and right is pretty well the same okay except it's not flipped upside down 
So what I'm going to do is instead of starting over and having to redo those guides and stuff, I'm just going to click on this one and do control C to copy it. And then I'll just click somewhere in the document and do control V. And now we have uh, two copies of the same thing. Okay. But this one is going to be turned into our um, inside of the card. I'm just going to move it so that the top of it touches. Okay, that looks pretty good right there, but now we have to uh, rework it so that this is the inside. So I'll just double click. Okay, and oh, it did not keep our guides. So we'll have to recreate the guides, and that's okay. Uh, I don't know why that it got rid of our guides, but uh, that's not the worst thing that ever happened. So I'm just going to get rid of every bit of this since it's all flipped upside down and stuff. And let's just go put our guides back in. So the first one was at four. Um, let's get rid of the center point here. Delete guide. And uh, I believe this is fine. The guides came back. Okay, so that's good. I didn't did not know that was going to happen. So this will be the inside left and the inside right of the card. I'm going to leave the inside left blank, but we could put something there if we wanted. Now let's just do the inside right. So I will make myself a text box. And we'll do Pacifico. We'll make it red again. Actually, I'm going to go with like a purple this time on the inside. Why not? And... Here's a hug. I'll make it centered. I'll make it much bigger. Here's a hug. Then I'm going to make a copy of this. Control C. Control V. You got to love copy and paste shortcuts. To warm your heart. Okay, I'll move it about right there and we're going to put the picture of the little bear in here. So I'm going to go image, choose an upload and then we're going to do teddy bear hook. Okay, and the teddy bear, it looks like this is not actually transparent the way that it should be. But that's okay for the purposes of this demo. It will be fine. Okay, and I actually need to shrink this font here. Let's put it down on like 24. Oops. 24. And 24. So I'm going to make room here. and uh, And we will... Now I'm going to right click on this bear and do order and send to back. That way I can see my text. I have to highlight all this again. My world's falling apart, but that's okay. That's just design. When you screw up or need to make changes, that's just part of it, you know. Um, now I'm going to shrink the bear down some because he's kind of big or bigger than I wanted. Okay. Let's move the bear and everything over here. Why not? We can make the rules. I was going to leave this empty, but I think this will, this will be better. Okay. And then right here, I'm just going to put happy Valentine's day and we can leave some space to sign it. And this is not the greatest design or anything, right? I'll be the first to admit that. I just want you guys to know how you can make a simple little card in um, Google Docs because it's what we have available to us on our Chromebooks.
And depending on who you were making this for, you could design it differently. And let's see, let's just make this really big. Control shift greater than, you gotta love it, you gotta love it. And then I'll just kind of center this up with the bear. Okay, and that looks pretty good. That's the inside left, inside right. Now I'll save and close. And then it's a matter of just getting everything aligned the way we want it. It's already got the zero margin, wrap text. Okay, and then well, we can just grab this and move it to where uh, it's aligned the way we want it. So I want it centered up like that. Okay, and we left plenty of white space. So I can drag it to the bottom. And now this gives us plenty of room. We can actually make this a little bigger if we wanted. I'm not sure why that my calculations ended up not being uh, spot on because I did the math properly. But we'll take it, okay, because this drawing canvas basically does it in a vector form so it doesn't harm anything uh, whenever you scale it like I just did as long as you get it by the corner. Okay, so there we go. And when we've got that printed out, you just fold it here and here. And there's your little Valentine's Day card. Like I said, this is not a great design. But now you know the technique, and you can make one so much better than my own. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one.